Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our daily lesson. Today we're going to learn how to find the side lengths of the right, right angle triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. So the first question we are asked in question one, we're given this picture. So this triangle and then we have to find what's going to be C. As we know, uh, the formula of Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c squared. And so we can call this one a, and then this one is our b. So it doesn't matter. So you might call this one a, and that one is b. It still is the same. So c always is the longest uh, uh, side because this angle, 90 degree, is the law is greatest these two they combine the remaining 90 so this one is the opposite of the c that is the greatest side and so our a is we can just do substitution a is going to be 3 square plus b which is 4 square that's equals our c square so 3 squared is 9, and then 9 plus 16, 4 squared is 16 equals c squared, equals c squared, and then 16 plus 9 is going to be 25, which is c squared, and then we square root both sides, so we can write the square root of 25 equals the square root of c squared. This gives us 5 equal our C. So this one is going to be 5. It's going to be correct. Our second example. Our second example is given like that. So, so this one is our longest, so this one is the 90 degree, so this one is our C, and then this one we call it our A, and then this one is B, and then we must find the B. And so we know the formula says A squared plus B squared equal C squared. So now an A squared is going to be 20 no, 5 squared plus b squared, we don't know, equal c squared is going to be 13 squared. So this one is going to be 25, and then this one plus b squared equal 13 times 13 is going to be 169. 169. Oh, we can check if you want this side 13 times 30 is easy so 9 and then 3 3 0 and then 3 and 1 and then we add it it's not 9 6 1 so we, we write so now what we're gonna do we're gonna subtract both sides by 25 this side 25 and then this one 25 so these two will cancel out b square equal and then five my nine minus five is going to be four and then six minus two is four and one one forty four and then we square root both sides so we're going to square root this and this so therefore b is going to be equal to 12 the square root of 144 is 12 so this is 12 which is going to, which is correct so performing the Pythagorean theorem is fun and easy. Our third example is this one. So we given now, so this one is our C, and then this one is our B, and this one is A, so we have to find A. So general formula is C squared, C squared, 
equals a square plus b square and then c square is 20 square 20 square equal a square which is we don't know a square plus b square which is 12 square 12 square so 20 square is going to be 400 equal a square plus 12 square is 144 so what we're gonna do both sides is we have to subtract 144 we have to minus this 144 and then this side minus 144 so these two will cancel out and here we're gonna have a square equal and this is gonna be four we have to three and then there's a ten then we're gonna change it to nine and the last one is ten ten minus four is six ten minus four is six nine minus four is five and then three minus two is two five six so two five six equal a square so what we're gonna do we're gonna square root both sides and then we're gonna square root both sides and then what we're gonna decide what is the square root of two five six so the square root of two five six is 16 so 16 equals a so this one is equal 16 which is correct this one's a not this one is just a So 16 is the correct answer. That's how to do Pythagorean theorem. Have a great day everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.